Most people in the twenty-four hours that we have per day, they're more preoccupied than busy. We must understand the nature of what we're handling. Initially it looks like a struggle, but once you really taste what it is, you can't be without it. You will always see people who wake up early in the morning are of a different quality. People who sleep late and wake up late, they are of a different quality. So, waking up early in the morning, you will see you will have a better sense of usage of time than sleeping li late night. Well, at a certain time, on a certain day, if it happens, it's fine, that's not the point. But as a lifestyle, if you sleep late and wake up early also, that's wonderful. But if you cut down your sleep, are you able to be active and alive through the day? That's a question mark. That will only happen if you enhance your energy quality. See, whichever way you do it, there are only twenty-four hours in a day. I've been requisitioning for more hours for a long time and I haven't gotten any yet. Only twenty-four hours. So now the only thing you have to determine is how many hours of sleep your body needs, all right? Body needs sleep because it's service time. Body needs to be serviced. It's a constantly running machine, so little if you run it slow at certain times, it gets serviced, that's the idea. Let's say you have a computer, which needs service once in six months, goes away for three days or six days. That means average one day in a month. All right, you can bear with this. But suppose your computer needs fifteen days of service per month, Better to junk it, isn't it? For one who is seeing this life as a stepping stone for a larger possibility, for him there is no failure. For one who is looking at the simple events of this life itself as the goal of life, for him there is failure and success. When the economy is on the boom, everybody gets carried, isn't it? Now there has been a meltdown. Now it takes something else to be successful. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what the hell happens with your life. If you are seeing this life only as a stepping stone for a larger possibility, then whatever the situation, it is beautiful and very useful. It doesn't matter what happens. The most horrific event happened in your life, that also can be used for your growth and your well-being. If only if you have clearly seen the small events of your life. When I say small events, I mean your business, your marriage, your children, all those big things. All these things are just a stepping stone. So if you have set this up, then all the events of life, everything is beneficial. The boom is beneficial, the meltdown is even more beneficial actually. So, the fear of failure. Failure is bad enough, fear is adding spice to it, isn't it? Success happens to you not because you desire it, because you earn it. If you came here like any other creature on this planet, stomach full, life settled. Once you come here as a human being, stomach empty, only one problem. Stomach full, one hundred problems. So what we are calling as life here is just a certain combination of time and energy. This combo of time and energy, unfortunately, majority of the people never learn to handle it seamlessly. We must understand the nature of what we are handling. Time by its own nature is such, you do something, it rolls, if you don't do something, it rolls. You don't have to push it, I'm saying. So the only way you can take charge of time is by mastering your energies, how they function. 
If you are functioning like a steam engine, it's a long time. If you're functioning like a jet engine, boom. If what somebody does in ten years, if you can do it in one year, if both of you live for hundred years, in terms of impact and exp profoundness of experience, you lived for a thousand years. That is the only way you can take charge of time. And one who's taken charge of time, for him, the entire universe is a sweetness of compassion. That is, will be his experience of life once he's taken charge of time. From what I observe uh, from people, as I travel more and more, meet various kinds of people in business, academics, science and regular people all over the world. What I see is uh, most people in the twenty-four hours that we have per day, they're more preoccupied than busy. That is, their own thoughts and their own emotions are such a big issue that most of their time is spent dealing with that. They may be working, but in their work, a lot of struggles are within themselves. If you are in any kind of sport or any creativity, you would know that uh, a little struggle means your ball will go somewhere else, your ragam thalam will go somewhere else, your painting will go somewhere else, nothing will happen properly. Or in other words, what could happen very simply, unfortunately happens with lots of difficulty. This is mainly because they have been given a phenomenal gadget or a phenomenal machine, which is the human mechanism, above all, a phenomenal dimension called the mind. They are trying to operate this phenomenal machine or a gadget or a computer if you'd like to call it, without reading the user's manual. Every day struggling with their own stuff and it doesn't get solved before they're twenty or something. Till their last day on their deathbed, they're still struggling with the same things, their thoughts and their emotions. If they learn to sort this out very early in their life, I'm sure they can work half the number of hours that they're working and be a lot more productive than the way they are right now. Personally, I've spent a lot of time by myself in the jungles of southern India, in the Himalayas. Now every year I spend time in Tibet. People sit by themselves and mess with themselves and make a mess out of themselves. Mm. If they stay alone, they'll go crazy, a whole lot of people. If one enjoys being alone, it means they are definitely better organized psychologically, emotionally, far better organized than mm. others. Well, in today's world where if they're having breakfast, they must take a picture of the breakfast, I'm having breakfast, if I'm going to the toilet, I'm going to the toilet. And when this is the world, <laughs> to just shut up and sit in one place takes a lot. Initially it looks like a struggle, but once you really taste what it is, you can't be without it. So before we associate ourselves with people, It'll be good every day in the morning or a certain period of your life if one withdraws to spend a little time with oneself and see how, in what ways can this be little better than the way it was yesterday, this life. How it can be a little better life than what it was yesterday.